Hey guys, Cami here. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a great day or a great night. Well, I'm doing okay. Uh, my great aunt had passed away a few weeks ago in the memorials on Saturday. Uh, so, just keep the family in prayers. Um, I have another cross that I... It's a different design and really cool, really quick and really simple. And it's stained already. It's one of these. And as you can tell, so. You want to uh, get a uh, clothes pants like I showed y'all in the previous uh, video. So I was showing y'all about the other crosses that you want to go ahead and take out or take off these metal things where you can have uh, both sides. And uh, instead of them being like this, okay, you want to turn them around and go back to back, like this, so you want to, Now, you can tell how I did the glue. Then you grab this side, or this other half, you put it together like this. I'm supposed to have a thunderstorm coming in. So, we're going to put that aside so it'll dry. So it'll end up like this. So, you want to put them together like so. And I am going to show y'all how to do that part. Very easy. Very, very, very simple. So, you want to glue a little bit right here and right there on both sides because you're going to put clothespins on both sides to make it like this. Okay. See, there's one side, and there is two sides. As you can tell, there's one side, there's two sides. So Okay, I'm going to show y'all how this is done. Okay, you put that there, and you put them like that, press them together, and, and it'll make it like that. As you can see, and all you have to do is let it dry. Okay, I'm going to put this aside because I've already got four already made. See, there's these two, and these two. I already got four of them made. So, whenever you put them together, before you glue them together, you want to do a layout. Okay? Because you don't want to mess up whenever you, uh, before you put them together. Because if you put them together, glue them together, and they're, and they're messed up, then they're messed up. 
So you also have to have two single ones like this as well. Okay? Because that's that's how you make it an extra this a little uh longer as well. So <clears throat> okay. I'm going to show y'all how to put it together. Very simple. You, you want to line them up first. So you you want to make sure that that they'll sometimes you have to kind of play with it as well or for it to fit right and I got a cat meowing at the door because if you don't do it right it's gonna mess up man see you're not coming in here baby girl That's close enough. As long as it's really close enough, voila. That's how you make the cross. And I'm going to show you all kind of a little bit of a technique how to, uh, to, uh, put them together while, you know, with glue. Uh, one second. Let me get this. Lined up. Okay. Now. Okay. Now you want to get one of these. Right here. Because you're going to glue one part right here. And one part on the other side. Come on, glue. I don't have all night. There we go. You want to uh, make sure you put enough glue so that way it'll hold. That's my. If you hear my cat meowing, that's Missy. I have another cat named Pumpkin Spice, and she's it being meanie. Towards Missy. Okay. Now. Now, okay. I've already got those already glued. So I'm going to line them up. And as you can tell, the glue does spread a little bit. It's okay. Enough glue is always best because it will hold a whole lot better instead of falling apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue those ends right there and I will attach it to the cross. Sometimes I do have these, some because it's usually best to kind of, you know, get some of the glue, kind of smear it along the 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 little edge or whatever, like like along right there, so that we kind of hold it a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put glue at these ends. You want to put just not a whole lot, but just enough to, cap, uh, to hold it for some amount of time. And sometimes I have to put a little extra glue.
Okay. Let me show you how it looks. So what I did was I went on and attached this to that. That's how you bake the cross. Really easy, really simple. All you have to do is lay it dry for at least, I say give it about a couple of hours. And then you can be able to move it. And that, and then you can be able to stain and stuff. You know, it's real, this cross is really easy, really simple. And, uh, you, you can do this with your kids, your grandkids, nieces, nephews, or anyone in your family member. Or any of your friends, their friend kid, and your friend's kids, whoever. Um, the one that, the type of glue, and I know I probably told y'all in the previous uh, videos that I did with the crosses is use tacky glue. It's usually best. And that way, I don't use a glue gun because it dries like that and it doesn't give me enough time to set the the popsicle stick or these things in the right spot and it'll mess up. That's why I like using tacky glue. So, so, um, I hope you enjoy this video. Press like. Press subscribe. Because I need some more subscribers. But if y'all enjoyed this video, press like. Leave a comment below. And, uh, I hope everything will turn out good when y'all do make these crosses. You can stain them. You can spray paint them with like purple, gold, silver, black, red, green, tan, orange, whatever color you want. Gray, green, you know, ocean blue, whatever. Uh, red. <laughs> but, you know, you can always uh, des put designs like I did with this one. I put these on. It's a uh, It's like these right here. I got tons of different ones. Look at those. And got these. I got these dark reds. Got bluish color. Whatever was suits you, whatever color that you want. I mean, Walmart and uh, Hobby Lobby and Michael sells them. If you want to put these at the very end like that. Um, you know, like I said, this cross is very simple, very easy to do, and uh, I hope y'all enjoyed making these, and again, like, subscribe, leave a positive comment below, and uh, I hope to see y'all soon. Y'all take care and be safe out there, okay? Love y'all guys.